reverse engineering the Gomco clamp. The guidelines we use to reverse engineer the Gomco clamp include the device is a force multiplier. The lever arm yields a 2 to 1 mechanical advantage. The average adult can exert between 40 and 100 pounds force on the screw. The force on the screw and the lever arm produces a resulting force which is about 200 times the initial input force from the screw. The clamp converts this force into a 8,000 to 20,000 um, pound pressure on the contact surface between the bell and the base plate. There are four main parts of the Gomco clamp. The base plate, the bell, the nut, and the lever arm. As you can see here, the variable key for our calculations that you'll see later on, T is the torque applied, DT is the diameter of the thread, mu is a coefficient of friction, L is length of lead, P is the force down from the screw, FB is the force up on the beam, FP is the angled force on the surface area, and PC is the crushing pressure. To analyze a screw nut, we use a formula that states P is equal to T divided by DT over 2 times pi mu dt plus L divided by pi dt minus mu L. This leads us to, for a 40 pound twisting force, downward pressure of 352.443 pounds force. When the lever arm was analyzed, it was assumed that there was no deflection in the arm. This allows us to use simple beam analysis. We took the moment at F pin to find the force applied to the bell, FB. FB is equal to 582.152 pounds force. In this slide, we made a SOLIDWORKS model of the crushing surface on the base plate. Using SOLIDWORKS, we found the area to be equal to 0.208 square inches. We then took the angle of the crushing surface, 21 degrees, and used trigonometry to convert the upward force from the lever arm into a ratio to find the crushing force. Using the ratio found on the last slide, we found that for a 40 pound input force, you would get an 8,183 PSI crushing pressure. Similarly, for an input of 50 pounds, you would get a 20,460 PSI crushing pressure. And finally, as requested, we have included a CAD drawing of the Sub-Saharan prototype base plate.